North East Tonight, brought to you by Oil India Limited, conquering newer horizons. Welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. Four of the eight northeastern states now have COVID positive cases, the highest, of course, being in Assam. And the category of people who turned out to be super spreaders are those belonging to the Tablighi Jamaat who attended the Markaz event at Nizamuddin in New Delhi. Several questions arise Who took the decision to go ahead with the Tablighi event? between March 12 and 15, when the whole world was grappling with the deadly coronavirus. What do the Muslim community leaders have to say about Tablik itself, which is some sort of a revivalist movement backed by only a section of Muslims? Tablik is an exception within Islam, not the rule. That is what everybody is saying. Now that the virus has come to Assam and the Northeast, what is expected of the Marcus returnees as well as the family members and community leaders? This is the big question. Does the Delhi event expose failure of concerned government agencies like the police and the administration? After all, the Nizamuddin police station is located right next to Nizamuddin, the Marcus headquarters. And why were foreigners allowed in and why were visas issued to large groups of tablikis who may have, of course, come in as tourists? Now the question is, what is the role of the community leaders, particularly in Assam, since nearly 200 people are in hiding or not reported to the authorities? The community leaders obviously have a very big role to play. To discuss the subject, I am joined from Shillong by Meghalaya Chief Minister, Mr. Conrad Sangma, one of the region's most proactive political leaders. In New Delhi, I have Dr. Taslim Ahmad Rahmani, a leading community leader and president of the Muslim Political Council of India. From Shillong, I am joined by Mr. Saidullah Nongrum, former Meghalaya Minister and General Secretary of the Shillong Muslim Union. In Silchar, I have Dr. Razdeep Roy, BJP leader and Lok Sabha MP. And in Guwahati, I have Mr. Mahbubul Haq Sanchala of the University of Science and Technology, Meghalaya, and a noted educationist. And in the studios, I have former MP, Mr. Kirib Chalia. Gentlemen, welcome to Notice tonight. I'll go straight to you, Mr. Conrad Sangma, Chief Minister of Meghalaya. Mr. Conrad Sangma, welcome to Notice tonight. The battle against COVID in Northeast was going on very nicely until Tablighis attending the Marcus event in New Delhi started returning home in the region and they have emerged as the super spreaders. Mr. Conrad Sangma, what do you have to say? What thoughts cross your mind? Right. Um, of course, uh, this has come as a uh, kind of a big challenge to uh, not just the Northeast, but I think the, the country as a whole. And I think, um, you know, this kind of uh, situation could, could have easily been avoided. And that's the reason why um, at all levels we've been urging everybody in society uh, whether religious leaders yeah. or uh, you know social leaders political leaders that we must be responsible at this point in time and it's because of uh, you know in irresponsible uh, you know situations like these which is risking so many lives and i think um, you know it's something that uh, really uh, has taken uh, the whole uh, country by a you know by a kind of a surprise in one way and now we are up against a big challenge and for the northeast of course it uh, it is a uh, it is a big challenge because, uh, as you said, it wasn't there, and now suddenly we have so many cases. All right. Now, 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 Mr. Conrad Sangma, you know, there are seven from Meghalaya who had also attended the Marcus event in Nizamuddin. Where are they, and what action are you going or are you drawing up from your end? No, we have, in fact, contacted all of them on the phone. And we, in fact, when we got the information, immediately our uh, police department and uh, the entire administration got into action. And we have zeroed down and we have uh, been able to, uh, you know, find out where they are. So five of them are still in Delhi. 
they are quarantined and they could not come to the to 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 northeast one of them is in lucknow and one of them is in kanpur uh, in up and both of them uh, exact locations i think is lucknow and kanpur but both of them are in up so we we have seven people we have identified uh, as per the information that we received in the list we received and we are following and tracking all of them and all of them are right now uh, in those locations that i mentioned so therefore right now we just want them to stay where they are uh, for their safety and safety of others also right now you know there must have been a gap somewhere don't you think so uh, you know in the middle of the corona battle when the world was grappling with this virus how come such an event was going on right in the heart of delhi and why are the indian embassies why do you think they had given out so many visas obviously of course we are aware that they must have come on tourist visas so nobody knows but that's not the point this was in the middle of the corona scare and the corona battle mr conrad sangma no uh, obviously if you look at the entire situation then uh, uh, you know one can say that yes there was a gap you know and uh, no doubt that uh, this kind of thing should never have happened and everybody should have been uh, really you know aware about it uh, but having said that uh, you see so many things are happening in the country today uh, administration police health uh, the governments uh, they are really overburdened with a lot of things happening you see in situations like these uh, you know we do expect that uh, individuals and uh, leaders whether religious or social or political will take responsibility and ensure that these kind of things don't happen so yes there was a lapse uh, of course i don't think it's uh, something that we can now uh, really you know right keep talking about it but it's over but the point being that uh, yes the lapse was there it shouldn't have happened but i think uh, in a in an operation like this which is so massive and so many challenges are there uh, you know it, it requires everybody to play their role right. and really i think uh, some people have been irresponsible uh, in the way they have handled this um, and yes there has been some lapse but i think now the important question is how do we take it forward and ensure that absolutely, all the absolutely. people who were there yes. uh, should be should be quarantined and uh, all the contacts they have made should be connected and we should ensure that all of them in isolation i think that is a real challenge in front of us now. yeah now now you are lucky because meghalaya only had seven of those uh, you know people who had attended and even you have identified every one of them now my question to you mr konrad sangma what is the role of community leaders why are people hiding according to you no i think uh, you have you have absolutely said the right thing that uh, really there is nothing to really worry about i think it's uh, uh, it's kind of a stigma that's come into people's mind uh, that should not be there and i think uh, what is core at the entire fight of uh, you know against coronavirus is really the responsibility of every individual for himself for his family members or for the society as a whole and i think uh, this is something that uh, you know we must obviously it shouldn't have happened but we must learn from this and ensure that everybody right. has to act in a responsible manner i'll tell right. you an example which is very very encouraging that uh, in in meghalaya whether it's garo hills khasi hills or jenthe hills we are seeing a very active role of locality leadership of village leadership and the headmen's who are playing an active role in ensuring that the information reaches us you know and uh, we are told about who are the people who have come from outside or have had travel history and they are themselves telling the individuals to stay at home and self quarantine themselves and this has helped us to almost track close to 11000 people in meghalaya we are tracking every day Absolutely. through an yeah. online system and an ibr system with the help of the local headmen and the local leaders and i think uh, this is how society should correct come together and that has been one of the biggest uh, you know positive uh, points for us and strength for us where we have seen the society really come together and stand up uh, together in this issue and really ensure that uh, uh, information reaches the government on time now, i think this should have happened in most now, uh, locations also yeah now you know sections of people even sections of the media uh, are given a communal color to the issue uh what is your take on this is it necessary is it going to affect the battle against the virus you see um, you know the mistake was done now it's this is not the time to now try to find out who's at fault and who's not at fault and uh, to be very frank i think uh, it doesn't help anybody right now to really point fingers and blame anybody now we need to figure out how we will uh, you know salvage the situation and how we will ensure that this does not spread any further 
So of Now, course, my next the question were responsible at the top level to um, you know have organized this. Uh, you know, uh, whatever the legal action uh, will be taken. But I think it would be wrong for us to kind of uh, communalize this issue at this point in right. time. It's important that uh, we all uh, be together, stand together. fight this thing together and that's the only way right. to overcome the situation that, that is what are. that is what uh, the assam chief minister and the health minister also are saying that fight the battle uh, help the, in identifying the people but don't communalize the situation that is the message from mr sarban and sonwal and dr himant bishwa sharma now 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 uh, mr konar sharma stern action against those who are hiding absolutely that that of course uh, i think every state government has got its uh, protocols every state government has uh, has steps and uh, you know what actions they will take uh, you know so there have been different state governments uh, i mean the law and order and home being a state subject so everybody has has had their own uh, mechanisms in place so i'm sure the assam government also must be having and as per the provisions and the law that is there uh, action must be taken because this is a right. very irresponsible right. behavior and as i said you are risking thousands and thousands absolutely, of lives absolutely you are risking so many really, people out you know, there affecting the entire society as a whole so yes absolutely you know as per law uh, the necessary uh, thing yeah. should be taken and uh, and the chief cleric of the markas mr conrad sangma is absconding shocking yes the, well i think uh, i think he he is absconding that i'm sure government of india uh, and the necessary uh, state police uh, involved which is of course government of delhi i'm sure will be taking steps to uh, you know take appropriate action and they okay. should take the action right my last question to you my last question what is the level of preparedness against covid-19 in your state that is meghalaya well uh, number one i think uh, of course uh, this is a uh, unprecedented situation i've mentioned that before uh, so therefore um, you know the entire country and the world is struggling today to really uh, ensure that everything uh you know is uh, is taken care of and the challenges are at multiple levels so starting off with uh, you know the fact that we are trying to break the transmission chain involves a lot of logistics in place in terms of essential commodities being given now that is has been one of the biggest challenges for us in the past few days and uh, i can assure the people of my state uh, meghalaya that uh, the government is doing everything possible to ensure that the food security is there and essential commodities are there and they need not need not panic about it there is enough stock and government has made a lot of arrangements to ensure that its smoothness uh, it is there there will be hiccups there will be small um, uh, challenges we'll face but overall we should not see any kind of a you know a critical situation in terms of that number two in terms of ensuring that uh, we are able to keep a track of all the people who are coming in because transmission chain is important as a government uh, we came out with an online system and we were i think most probably one of the few in the in the country in the beginning who came out with their own system and we have a list of uh, entire volunteers um and a call center system where we are calling up every single individual that has entered the state uh, or come from a different part right. of the of the country or the world right and uh, as of now we are tracking 11000 people as i'm mentioning to you and on a daily basis almost 6000 calls are going to different individuals uh, people who are showing symptoms have been uh, monitored more closely about 100 150 people were showing symptoms and those who showed extreme symptoms uh, you know we made sure that they went for testing absolutely and uh, you know touch wood uh, by god's grace uh, all of them have come out to be negative till now so. all right uh, conrad thank you very much for taking time out and speaking to me and you stay safe uh, that is what i would like to tell you at this point in time thank you very much Northeast tonight brought to you by Oil India Limited conquering newer horizons